Oh, you must try my ale. Can't see a game of all. You must. Well, take me, A4. Our victories, or the gods themselves. My immortal soul. Ah, your god is rather a hard taskmaster. And your god forbids the mixing of wool and linen. It sounds to me like he's never heard the bingo. <laughs> Not all that is written in the scriptures is God's honest truth. Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps. Perhaps not. We can take him from Rusester Fortress. We'll need a small, experienced force of men. Rusester is not a house of straw and sticks. It's a garrison, crawling with soldiers. I don't see how it's possible. I don't believe it's necessary. Are you hiding something, Batham? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedman had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty... You shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. They pay well for my catch. The monks? Do those parchment skin Christians ever eat meat? No one will stop me sucking the marrow from a nice leg of lamb. Over here. I'm wary of this epic vessel. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. But the scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Volke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Be mysterious just ahead. Lead. I will follow. I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. I need to cloak myself here. Ah, oh, you prefer to work in the shadows.
Best not to draw attention here. Get back to work! Time is coin and you're spending mine! Do you dare to question the orders of the great Thane Tedmund? I will have you flogged! Come on, you lazy hounds! I don't pay you to lollygag! We have a quarter to fill! We must keep the Danes from Kent! What's that about? Stop catamalling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints.
You don't prefer working in the shadows? Making with swiftness and escape without anyone on our heels? We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please! I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood. I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tetman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tetman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. Oh, Danes! To, to storm the walls, you need Danes. There's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I, acting as Tetmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first... I, I am still Tedmund to the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nordnir knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. Do what you want with him. I won't risk our plan on the shambling of this fool. Come, Brother Shergar. And perhaps today would be the time to consider a vow of silence? An army of Danes is all we need to take the fortress. Let us hope. It is best to snare a wasp with honey. Have you ever considered more subtlety? I leave manipulation to you, Basim. You appear to see it as an art. It is both art and science to bend a man to your will. Shergar was quick to betray his lord. Do you not think he would sell us out as swiftly? His prattle was sad and ugly, like a weeping babe. The chittering squirrel. And yet, I allow you to squeak in my ear, along all the roads and byways of Kent. Be free. Show me. You are wise, and you see the same qualities in me. That must be it. We are nearing the camp. Let us hope there are Danes enough to storm a fortress. Otherwise, this abbot's game is a long one. It must be played, if we are to reclaim Sigurd. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost.
Now what? Crawled into the brush, have you? I've not seen <gasps> What's that about? I'll fight you in the bushes. you our lives, friend. These Saxon whore sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rucester and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy and will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. They will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Gidrich of his promise. When you have his bond, Meet me on the shore near Rusesta, with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? Yeah. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Mid. For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I 
I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry, Basim. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend, a mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. Rue says there will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to repair. <laughs> <laughs> 